all of the welds. I went in and migged it all um, in the very beginning to get it all laid out and secured. And then I went back in and um, TIG welded and brazed everything. So we're really strong. The materials on this are so sketchy. Um, pushing the limits of what's possible for a gate. So it's gonna be so fun. I would not make this for a client, but I'm doing it for myself because I think it is super fun. And hopefully it'll give me that illusion of the wispy grasses when I'm all done. So that's the goal and we're moving right along. Have you ever wondered how artists create their art forms? If you're up for it, I'll take you with me through my artistic process from beginning to end of projects with my Looking Into the Light series, sparking that light of inspiration and creativity inside of you is possible when you open to it. Join me in handcrafting an extraordinary life by joyfully creating with the light. I'm Jay Stargard, international artist and owner of Stargard Art. So I'm on hinges and um, so these are going to be the base plates that bolt onto or screw and lag onto the wood. So and what's super tricky about this is these are so big that they have to meet the curve, they have to meet the curve of the wood and within that curve of the wood I have to have vertical. So that's what I'm doing right now, making sure I've got a perfect fit. And this is the real technical stuff. So this is where it's at. Wow. Yeah. Coming along good. Trying to make sure there's a little bit of wiggle room to just adjust slightly, but it's better to do it to the best that I can, first of all. Super important to make sure everything on the gate feels good, that there are no sharp edges. And now's the time to do it before it gets up. It's so much easier right now. After a lot of measuring, making sure everything was in plumb and in alignment, then I welded, I carefully welded the base plates and the hinges together. And in order to make the magic of this gate work, which is my my goal of that wispy sweepy no locking mechanism for the gate to shut on itself i had to weld them exactly perfect so here on the ground i have adjusted and made sure that my hinges would be exactly right this is the tough part but this is the most exciting part because the way that i attach the hinges allows the magic to work or not we will see when laying out to make sure that I've got everything straight I had to make sure that I had 90 degree angles so I used big sheets of plywood to brace off of to get my height and I used squares and I used levels and I used height adjustment pieces to make it all happen really fun to do that technical stuff but complicated and I wish I would have gotten a closer view of it so that you could actually see what I was doing next time as I'm learning I'll I'll try to do that a little bit better too but it was super fun to do It's so fun to have great timing. Just as I finish my last weld on the gate, in comes Fred and Angel, my magical install team, and we have to do a little bit of uh, peanut butter on a stick, and out we go to do the install, prepped and ready. I almost forgot the video putting it up. Everybody, this is Fred, say hi Fred. <laughs> okay, so now we got to get exact. Well, How I... did this do? So the first side is a piece of cake to put together. The second one is where we really have to make it exactly right. And if you remember, there is no even bottom. There's nothing that is the same. So we have to prop it up 
just perfectly. We temporarily hold the upper hinge and everything together with a zip tie and we set the bottom hinge first. Once we have that perfectly done, perfectly plumb, then we move up to the upper hinge and make sure that that is done exactly right. Fortunately, the curve worked out good. My measurements worked out excellent and it ended up being perfectly plumb, which I absolutely love. But because the gate is the way that it is, in order to get the exact right location, it was about lining up the handles and two marks that I had previously done on the upper part of the gate with blue tape and the lower part of the gate with the blue tape. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I, we just screwed in the last screws and holy cows. Okay, so I had this idea, I don't know how many years ago, like, like two years ago, I was gonna do this for a client to have a gate lock without any locking mechanism. Guess what? It works. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you. That way works too. Wow. Yeah, totally works. It's clipped at the top and at the bottom. Look at that. It's so pretty. I love it. So the thing is, is that video, you're probably not going to be able to, well, you can't get the full sense of it, but wow, gentle, soft, wispy, self-locking so with with no gadgets to make it do that. I am in love. I don't know, maybe I will make it for clients. We'll see, I'm gonna test it for a while and make sure that the materials can hold it. But wow, I'm in love, I'm in love. And the idea about this is to have a very subtle, very subtle gateway entry so that once you enter into the sculpture garden, the pieces that are for sale in there are just magnificent and shiny and stainless steel and bronze and copper and just blinging like crazy. So that's the whole idea behind having this mild steel fence. And the other thing too is that all of the pieces were what I had laying around all repurposed and I just love that. The only thing new on it is the hinges. That's it. Everything else repurposed, including the rod that I welded it with too. So very cool. Ah, yay! Okay. Been wanting that for 16 years. Here it is. There'll be one more part to this series and that'll be the Final cleanup, Tina Ing, and the additional side piece of fencing. Check out the next episode of Looking Into the Light. If you haven't already, head over to my website where I've got galleries of my work, and there's also a shop page there where you can find out what my available work is to acquire. That's really fun. And what else did I want to tell you? Oh, I also do commissions. So if you all decide you'd like something made for your unique individual self, I do that too. So we can work on that. All you got to do is direct message me and I'll get back to you. Don't forget to do something different because that creates new pathways for us to have wonderful things come into our life that are unexpected and do something fun because that's the pathway of the divine. Jay Stargard out. Bye.